Welcome to the Animal Behavior Institute. In this video, we'll review a sample lesson from our program in wildlife rehabilitation. We'll take a brief look at the components of the course to demonstrate our very personal, collaborative approach to online education. The home page of each course allows students to easily navigate between different components. Under the course home, you'll find your instructor's welcome message, the announcements, and a course syllabus. The syllabus outlines the course requirements, including grading, expected student outcomes, and methods of assessment. The online cafe is a place for faculty and students to share stories, questions, comments, or concerns. They may also discuss careers or share new resources. For example, here Professor O'Neill is sharing information on a new symposium opportunity. And in this example, the professor is sharing a link to a popular viral video, initiating a conversation on wildlife and ethics. Note that there are 10 modules, one for each of the 10 weeks of the class. Let's take a module and look at it in more detail. Week 3 is dedicated to fluid therapy, an essential part of wildlife rehabilitation. The first part of every module is the study guide. Study guides summarize key concepts from the readings, synthesizing material from multiple sources and adding examples to provide fresh insight into the material. The structure of these questions offers students personal feedback directly relevant to their response with an opportunity to repeat the question as necessary. In this example on water loss, one common mistake is for students to confuse different rates of loss in mammals versus birds. The response to this student's answer helps them to recognize and then correct their error. Correct choices provide a fuller answer to ensure that students completely understand the question and its resolution. Every week you'll tackle a new wildlife problem or case study, working in collaboration with your fellow students and your professor. Discussions are based on real-world applications related to the material. They provide you with an opportunity to practice the skills you'll need throughout your career. You'll write your own answers, which will also review your classmates' responses and offer suggestions. In addition, the professor will provide comments and feedback to every student. In this week's discussion, you'll see the students are working with the essential but potentially confusing issue of fluid therapy. Notice that the students help each other work through the problem, offering suggestions and feedback. The instructor also offers suggestions, guiding them toward a better understanding of the topic. At the end of the discussion, the professor provides a weekly summary and addresses any lingering issues. The discussion is an essential learning tool but it also provides an opportunity for you to know your colleagues. Many students form friendships that extend well beyond their classroom experience. Weekly quizzes are highly interactive and are intended as a learning tool as well as a means of assessment. Each quiz may be taken multiple times during the week it is assigned, but it may also be taken later in the semester. Many students use them for review especially leading up to the week of the final exam. Students go through the test, selecting their answers. At the completion of the test, they have the opportunity to submit the test or to go back and to review it. 
After completing the test, you receive your score. But more importantly, you'll receive personal feedback tailored to each of your responses, pointing out the strength of the response, or providing more guidance, explaining why your answer was incorrect, and encouraging you to try the quiz again. This allows you to honestly assess your current understanding of the material and where you need to review, or perhaps contact your professor to seek additional help. Only your highest score is used in the calculation of your final grade. Thus, you have ample freedom to learn from your mistakes. The largest components of each module are the study guide, discussion, and quiz. However, these tools may not address the needs of students with different learning styles. For example, some students may learn more easily from images versus text. The modules include a concept map illustrating the major concepts of the week and diagramming the relationships between these concepts. This illustrates the organizational structure of the material and helps many students develop an understanding of the big picture. In the additional inquiry section, the instructor points the student to additional resources that relate to the subject of the week. They may refer to books, studies, projects, videos, or other resources that expand on the material in the module. For example, this professional publication provides students with an extremely in-depth discussion of certain elements of fluid therapy, ideal for those that would like to delve further into the subject. Of course, every student's greatest resource is their professor, who will be happy to guide them or refer them to additional materials on any course topic. This concludes our sample lesson in wildlife rehabilitation at the Animal Behavior Institute. If you have any questions or would like more information, please contact us at 866-755-0448 or email at support at animaledu.com. Thanks for watching.